we are on a little family road trip. Max is driving. Thanks, Max. <laughs> and um, Maddie has decided to take a nap, which is so unlike her. Oh, no, wake her up. But Jackson is still awake. He's usually our napper. And he's crying. We are almost to our first stop. before Max comes to pick me up. So I thought I could do a little recap of my weekend away. So this weekend, Max and I drove down from um, Tallahassee and he dropped me off in Tampa and then he headed to Punta Gorda um, where like our home base is and where my mom is. So I got to spend the weekend with my best friend. We've been friends since college, we met her freshman year, my sophomore year, so it's like 23 years now. Um, and so she was here in Tampa, and so I came down and got to spend the weekend with her, and we had so much fun. Alex booked us the cutest Airbnb in St. Pete. It really had everything we needed if we wanted to chill in the house and the bedroom that I had was just such a wonderful and peaceful oasis. I can probably count on one hand how many nights I've spent away from my kids since I started having children. I um, spent one night away um, when my sister surprised me for my birthday one year and then I spent like maybe two nights away when I celebrated my sister's 40th birthday. Oh, with my sister, we're getting ready to celebrate my 40th birthday. Don't we look young? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm 18 short months away from my 40th birthday. 18th, 18th short month. 18th short month. Yeah. <laughs> two years ago, so what is that? Maybe three nights. So this was like good. It's interesting because since I've never really spent time away from them, I didn't know if I was gonna feel crazy, but I did not feel crazy at all. It was nice, like, I mean, FaceTime and phone calls help because I still got to see them. And then, of course, knowing that they are obviously being taken care of well by my husband and by grandma and all of that made it a lot easier to be here. So Friday, I got here in the afternoon. Me and Alex, we like sat around, we talked, we laughed, we caught up, we had some snacks, and then we went out to dinner on um, Friday night. We went to um, Ruth's Chris um, and had like a nice dinner. We actually, we both turned 40 this past year and she was with me for my 40th birthday, but I was not able to be with her for her 40th birthday. So we kind of had a little do over and celebrated our birthdays a little bit as well, which was a lot of fun. We, we looked up and we're like, oh my gosh, we've been here for three hours just like talking and having fun. And then she is contemplating a move. So on Saturday morning, we went to see a place um, and that was really nice, beautiful. And then we had like a cute little breakfast, lunch. We went and got pedicures. And then Saturday evening, we came back here and we just hung out again. It was just really, really nice. It was a restful weekend for me. Um, I mean, I was still waking up at the time that the kids would normally wake me up, but not having to get up and tend to them made it like more restful. So uh, I got to kind of hang out in the bed a little bit longer, which was really nice. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely feeling like, I mean, once a month might not be really realistic, but if I could do something like this or just feel like I get a little bit of a break, maybe once a quarter, I don't know, once every other month, 
something, even if it was just like one overnight, it would be, I feel like it would be really good. It would be good for my like mental health <laughs> and just, you know, overall um, relaxation and, and just being able to like regroup, be around another adult. I mean, I'm around Max, of course, and you know, we get to talk and spend time together and everything, but you know, it's a little different when you get to hang out with your girlfriend. Um, I will say that being in Tallahassee has been good because I get to see my sister more frequently and so we get to kind of be together. But usually when I'm with her, it's like all of us. So, you know, you're keeping an eye on the kids, you're making sure she's not, or they're not destroying her, uh, her white couch <laughs> um, and all of that. So it's a little bit different than like getting to be with, be away without them completely. But yeah, so that's how our weekend went. Um, the kids, they got to hang out with grandma. I'm gonna, um, I'll show you. They really had like a great time running around. Tickle. I know that hurt, come on. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> tickle, tickle. <laughs> <laughs> now, Maddie loves the pool, she loves the beach, she loves all of that. But since we've been back in the US, she hasn't gone to the pool, she hasn't she hasn't been able to do any of that. So grandma of course took Maddie to the pool. Jackson hung out with Papa. <laughs> at the um at the playground and and they ran around in my mom's backyard and just really had a great time hanging out with her <laughs> on um on saturday morning max called me and so then maddie wanted the phone so she's on the phone and she's like talking to me but she's also you know our kids when they get the phone um they'll say hi hi mommy and then they're like ready to go um, look at YouTube or listen to music on Spotify or something. So Maddie was on the phone and she's looking at me, talking to me for a little bit. And then she's like, bye mommy, see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, because she wanted to be able to listen to her music freely. So they did that. So now I, like I said, I'm waiting for Max to come pick me up and we're going to take the kids to the children's museum here. Um, I, I don't know why I think thought that there would be, or the kids, when we lived here, we went to the children's museum a lot. When we lived in Punta Gorda, we would always drive up because there's a children's museum in Tampa. There's one in St. Pete. There's one in, uh, um, where's that place called? It's South. Astero? No, not Astero. Naples. There's one in Naples. So there are lots of like places all around, but there's not one in Tallahassee. So I feel like the kids have been missing it. They've always really enjoyed when we go there. So we're going to head there now and spend like a few hours there and then probably have lunch and then get on the road back to Tallahassee because it's going to take us about, um, it's going to take us about four hours to get back to Tallahassee from here. So that should be nice and uh i'll keep you i'll keep you posted i should be having more videos from that max picked me up and i was so happy to see him and the kids um and then we just got right on the road and headed to the museum there is a museum in st pete but we decided to go to the one in tampa it's a little bit bigger so that was probably about 20 minutes from where we were so it wasn't too bad so I think you probably just want to go in this parking garage, right? Yeah. So this is that side street that we usually go on. We usually go in here. We usually enter in the front, but I think it's trying to have you go around. Yeah. Oh, can we enter here? Yeah, it's yeah. an Two dollars for each additional. Can you go left? You think? Yes. It's dark. It is dark. 
I didn't know, because you know we normally park right here, but I think it's okay either way. Yeah. No, because I think actually it's honestly probably better. We used to always park down here, but then we came here one time when there was like a festival or something. And remember we had to park. It's dark, Manny. Oh, elevator to children's museum. So we just park. Oh, reserved for valet only. It's so exciting. Oh, there's somebody behind you. It's so exciting. Like right behind you? Yeah, a motorcycle. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Do you know where we're going? Yes. It's dark, yeah. Maddie, you said it's so exciting? Oh, that's tight. Yeah, I'm yeah. I can yuck you. Yuck Is he still behind me? Yeah. I can yuck you. Yuck you. He probably can park where he there if he wants to. Me too. Yeah, all these spots, they're like. Said levels four and five for the museum. It's so dark. Did you say? It's so dark here. It is dark. Okay, we are in the parking garage for the museum. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So we're parking. Actually, I gotta look and see if I have that app. The parking. It's just easier to pay with the app, right? I think even if I don't have it, I can probably download it. It, it is dark, man. <laughs> Maddie, you say it's so exciting? What's exciting? We're going to the museum. We're going to the museum. We're going to go play? Yeah. Are you ready? Take off. Okay. Are you ready? Take off. Are you ready? Take off. <laughs> what number? Can you push the, hey, look, it's the button next to it, just the one. Good job. Can you push one? Oh, okay, you push one. Good. Good job. Okay, who's holding my hand? Let's go, let's go. Bye. <laughs> You gotta follow the leader, okay? Leader.
that you're enjoying today's video. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you never miss a new one. You wanna go see the dinosaur? You gotta put down the hula hoop. Yeah, put that down. Good. Maddie. spent about an hour in the downstairs area with lots of playtime with the water and then they headed up the stairs. Maddie got to go through this maze climbing um, thing. It represents the waterways of Florida and so she had a great time exploring there. And then they spent some time in this area. It was an exhibit that was all about measurement. So it had a lot of different hands-on activities for them to do. Um, and this area is always different. So every time we come, usually there's a different exhibit going on here. <laughs> you want to go the other way? on top Maddie no, no, no. yep there you go good job say excuse me or walk around good good job Maddie. Jackson you got your shaker oh you're helping your sister with her pizza loving it right your brother's helping you with your pizza Maddie Thank you. 
smart. I think it goes in the top. There you go. <gasps> You're cooking your pizza. Good job. Oh, be careful. Very good, Maddie. You're cutting it. You gotta step back, yeah. And then they both had a really good time in the grocery store. our time at the museum with just a little bit of kicking and screaming and we headed off to one of our favorite restaurants in Tampa it's called hiccups and churaholics Maddie has a standard order of garlic noodles with broccoli and tofu that she loves Jackson sometimes eats this but sometimes he just wants to eat french fries and uh, we let him do it <laughs> Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And we'll see you in the next one.